Hey guys, Hitman89 here, I hope you're doing great, and if you're looking for some good online games to play with your friends with voice chat on, or with randoms that you muted because you're sick of hearing them trying to eat their mics, then you've come to the right place, because <laughs> today I'm gonna show you the best online games of 2021 and 2022. And without further ado, we're starting off strong because the first game I'm gonna show you is Overwatch 2, which is a 5v5 team-based game that came out a few weeks ago. It looks great, it's extremely well optimized, and it's pretty fun to play even if you suck at aiming, because it's got plenty of heroes that are divided in three classes, tank, damage, and support. So you could basically pick a medic, keep healing a good player, and get them easy assists. Oh, and the game has crossplay support, so I had my brother come over and we pretty much played it all day. Him on PC and me on Series X, we had a lot of fun. But Overwatch 2 is so similar to the first one, it feels more like an update than an actual sequel. I mean, that's why they released it for free. Now let's move on to a game that's not free, but it's definitely worth playing. Because at number 2 we have Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, an asymmetrical 4v1 game where you can either play as a new Ghostbuster recruit, which as you can see is in first person view, or you could play as the ghost and haunt the building from a third person perspective. You can terrorize civilians, haunt objects, and even possess them. And that's sick! Watch out not to get spotted by the Ghostbusters though, because they have a ghost meter and they can also place a trap and use their proton pack to capture you. Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed supports crossplay, the graphics are good, and you can definitely play it with bots if you want to, but they're really dumb so it's far from being as exciting as playing it with real people. Plus I think the game needs some more content. Now if you're Arab, like me, or if you're just into beheading people, Chivalry 2 is exactly what you need. It's extremely fun to play and easy to get into, the graphics are just okay, which is a shame because it could have looked breathtaking. By the way, if the first person view isn't your thing, you can also play the game in third person. So you can obviously choose a melee class if you're a real man and you want to have some sick close range combat, or you could play as an archer and get some easy kills while hiding like a little bitch. Now, for those of you who are into this stuff, there is also Mordhau, which is already available on PC and coming to consoles soon. But if you're not really into this medieval shit and you want something more modern, then you should check out Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 instead. See what I did there? No, but in all seriousness, even though I'm usually more of a battlefield guy because I love destructible environments, I have to say Modern Warfare 2 is extremely enjoyable to play, especially if you like emptying clips into motherfuckers. Other than its cinematic action-packed campaign, it's got tons of game modes ranging from Ground War and Prisoner Rescue to the more classic Team Deathmatch. And it's even got a third-person view mode now for those of you who don't like first-person shooters. If you're still on the fence though, or even worse, if you're broke as fuck, <laughs> then just get Warzone 2. Speaking of free to play games, the fifth game I want to show you is Multiverses, aka Super Smash Bros, but without the Nintendo characters. You can have some 1v1, 2v2 or free for all action with randoms or even better with friends. Personally, I played the game with randoms first and then I teamed up with my wife and as you can see, we beat the shit out of people. And since we're talking about co-op, at number 6 we have a 3 player co-op game called Second Extinction. I don't know if you heard of it, but it's been in early access for a couple of years now and it's finally getting a full release. And that's why it's on my list, cause fighting mutated dinos with friends is fun, but the early access version is so bare bones it gets old real quick. Luckily, the full release adds a new biome, new missions, and new dinosaurs. So if you're on PC or Xbox, you might want to check out Second Extinction. But if you're not into killing dinos and you'd rather fight demons, then the seventh game on my list might be for you. Evil Dead could have been an awesome single player horror game, but instead they made a 4v1 online game where you can play as a survivor with up to 3 friends and work together, or you could play as the Kandarian demon, set some traps, scare the shit out of the survivors, possess them, and even turn them against each other. Needless to say, play Evil Dead with the right people and you'll have a blast. So if you're looking for something that's somehow similar to Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th, then go ahead and give Evil Dead a shot. 
Now the next game on my list is a must have. Aliens Fireteam Elite is pretty much the best game on this. No, I'm just kidding. It's mediocre at best. So the real game I'm gonna show you is Naraka Blade Point, which is a 60 player PvP battle royale game with martial arts, melee and ranged weapons. It's unique and it's got plenty of issues. So I'm not sure it's actually worth 20 bucks because in my opinion, it should be free to play like most battle royale games. But hey, I got it through Game Pass, so I can't complain. Plus the game is far from being perfect, but the jiggle physics are dope. Anyway, let's take a look at the ninth game on my list. This one is for those of you who like sports games. I picked FIFA 23, but in your case it could be NBA 2K23, Madden or whatever. And no, you're not looking at FIFA 22 or FIFA 21. Come on guys, can't you see that the grass is different? No seriously, it's basically the same game with updated rosters. Well, at least this one's got tons of content, but you really have to watch out, cause Ultimate Team is so addictive you'll spend your weekends breaking controllers. Last but not least, Battlefield 2042 came out in a rough shape. It had horrible performance, laggy servers, and an incredible amount of bugs. But several updates later, and more specifically, since the Season 1 update dropped, it got so much better. The new maps are great, although sadly, this battlefield really doesn't focus on destruction like the previous ones did. Plus it has operators instead of the old class system, but it's still fun to play and you can get it for super cheap now. So if you like what you see and you have a chance to grab a copy for 30 bucks or less, go for it. And that's gonna be it for the best online games you should play right now. I did my best to pick all kinds of multiplayer games out of the ones we had this year and last year, so I really hope this video helped you find a couple of good games to play. If it did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It's been Hitman89, see you guys very soon.